In this video I'm going to show you how to use Perfmon to collect real-time data and to create a data collector set. First let's launch the application, so go to the start menu and type Perfmon. Then you select the performance monitor icon and you will see that it's already collecting some performance data. This is the real-time performance page and the performance data that has been collected is the processor object percent processor time counter. If you highlight the counter you can see the last average minimum and maximum values as well as the scale that is being used to draw that information in the graph. The scale value is very important when you have several performance counters so that Perfmon can display all of them on the same graph. If we change the scale value, let's change it from 1 to 10 for example, every number that is displayed in the graph now, you will have to divide that by 10 to get the real number. So for example, pay attention to the last observed value which is 1, 3, is going to be displayed as 10, 30 in the graph. If we change that back to 1, every value that is displayed is equivalent to the actual value. So please be careful about what you see in the graph and rely more into the actual values represented into the last average minimum and maximum columns. If you want to add or remove performance counters in the real-time monitoring, you have the plus and x icons here. So if you hit plus, then depending the performance object, you may or may not have instances. So for example, if you select the process object, you will have an instance per each process that is running in the system. So if you want to monitor a particular process, you can select that process and hit add, and hit OK for example, and every process related to the engine server process will be now displayed in the graph. Now, pay attention to the scale column once again. So for example, the virtual vice peak, the actual values are in the 44 million order. But if you see the y-axis in the graph, it, w it doesn't go as high. So every value that is displayed for that particular corner, you will have to divide that by 100,000 to get the real value if you want to use the graph as your source of data. Now for a particular corner, if you are confused about all of the numbers being displayed in the graph, you can select the corner and hit the highlight pen here. And that particular corner's data is going to be bolded as you can see in black. Now most of the time you will not be using the real-time monitoring. The real-time monitoring you will probably use when you're with a customer on the call and if you can identify the problem while it's occurring, but most of the time you will be creating data collector sets to collect performance data at the time the issue happens. So for example, you may have a system that fails at 2 a.m. every morning you can create a data collector set to run at that time, gather the performance data, and then stop the collection. So to do that, you click the data collector set, open it up, you select user defined, right click, new data collector set. You enter a name for the collector set, and you can use one of the Windows predefined templates or create your own. In this case, we will be creating our own data collector set, so I will choose Create Manually, hit Next. Select Performance Scanner, hit Next. Add the performance objects and or corners that you're interested in collecting. Let's say you want to collect the processor, all of the processor corners, and you also want to collect system, all of the system corners. Hit OK. Another important step is to select the right sampling interval as it will determine the amount of data being recorded in the log. So if you're going to be collecting data for a short period of time, you may want to select a shorter sampling interval so that you get some data. Now if you're going to be collecting data for a long period of time, let's say a week, you want to increase the sampling interval, let's say, to every half an hour or one hour. So in this case, we're going to be selecting five seconds. 
click next we're going to be saving the resulting log file in this case we're going to change it the default location and use the desktop instead hit next and then finish so it will create the data collector set now before running it you will right click over it and select properties which you could have also selected at the last page of the wizard the properties window will allow us to select the schedule where you want to run this let's say you want to run it from day one to day two that will start at a particular time or a particular day so I'm going to cancel this out and also you can select the stop condition in this case we're going to tell it to run for 30 seconds hit apply hit ok now you can select the user defined data collector set right click and select start and let's wait for 30 seconds okay so now it has finished as you can see the status is stop let's minimize the perf mode and you can see in the desktop a folder was created and in this folder you will find a BLG file containing the performance data that was collected so how do you see that data? in order to do that you go back to the performance monitor section here let's select all of the corners and remove them and you'll have to change the source instead of using the real-time performance data you will have to select view log data log file that was collected selected it's on your desktop hit apply hit ok and then you can add the corners you want to see from this data log and here's the data that was collected and this ends the demonstration